If you've been looking at Northwest Arkansas and you've seen Springdale on the map, you've seen Fayetteville, you've seen Bentonville, but right between is Springdale. Today, we're driving everywhere through, giving you a full vlog tour. You're gonna find all these neat neighborhoods, some of them a little older, some of them newer homes, uh, ranging from near a lot of amenities to out on the edge of town. So Springdale's really pretty wide as far as area goes. So we're gonna sh basically show you from one end uh, to the other of East Springdale. We're getting after it right now. All right, we are in a neighborhood. I don't, I don't remember the name of it. <laughs> the name of it is Peaceful Valley. This whole area is called Peaceful Valley. It's uh, part of Springdale. It is uh, over near um, I-49 uh, and uh, Sunset, uh, which is 412. Um, so there's a lot of great uh, accessibility, a lot of great things in the area. The homes in this neighborhood specifically, uh, they're, they're built in the mid to late 70s. There's some from the early 80s. Um, so, but uh, as far as homes go, nice, clean, kept uh, little neighborhood. And uh, it uh, has a lot of amenities in the area. So just down the street is the, what is the, the name of the park there? Randall Walker. Randall. I'm forgetting the name of it. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll throw it up on words there. <laughs> um, so it is uh, a, an amazing park. Uh, there's basketball courts. There's a number of baseball fields. Um, you've got soccer fields, a couple of volleyball uh, nets, basketball, and so, so on. Something they recently added to it is the, uh, and these are all over Spring, Northwest Arkansas really, is these little splash pads that uh, family, you know, with younger kids, that it's just like sprinklers, they can come get wet during the hot, hot summer and cool off and have a lot of fun, interact with other kids and other families. And so it's a really cool little park uh, that's, I mean, you could walk from this neighborhood, you could walk there or ride a bike or push a stroller or whatever you gotta do. <laughs> short drive, very short drive. Very short. And, uh, but these, these houses are predominantly gonna be like three bedroom, two bath, maybe some four bedrooms in here like 1800 square feet yeah ballpark thereof and uh the probably the going price per square foot around here is real close to 185 to 210 depending on how nice it is how updated the you know if it if they've brought it out of the 1980s or not um if it's granite and some of them still look like 1970 in there and those <laughs> yeah. are probably going to get the lower end of the value but um, for this neighborhood, you're going to be minutes away from a neighborhood Walmart. You're minutes away from a, a Harps. You are, those are both grocery stores. And then you are two or three minutes away from the I-49 highway. So you got great accessibility there. All the doctor's offices, all the um, resources and hardware stores that you're going to need uh, is going to be right close by in this area as well as uh from an entertainment standpoint there are probably 40 restaurants uh within three or four miles uh, oh, yeah. of this location as well as um our vest ballpark is right across i-49 uh which the edge of this neighborhood borders i-49 uh that said uh most of the neighborhood is well enough away from I-49 that you don't ever really hear it. There are a couple of streets that are closer to that side that you would uh, get some of that noise, but for the most part, you never know it's there. Um, besides the ballpark, um, you've got going down towards uh, the other side of the freeway, uh, you've got uh, Harbor High School and uh, the new top of the line uh, elementary slash uh, middle school uh, that is, the name escapes me, um, but top notch schools uh, right here in the vicinity, um, as well as like I said, entertainment slash restaurants galore, um, but just uh, a nice little quiet older neighborhood 
that uh, still has some great value and plenty of stuff to do within walking distance. Do and convenience. Yes. All right, on to the next one. All right, we are rolling through the Southwind Terrace neighborhood. Uh, we are a little bit further east than uh, the previous neighborhood and we are uh, a little bit further into Springdale. Tell me a little bit about what you're seeing in these, this neighborhood, Alan. So it's a lot newer than uh, the previous neighborhood. Larger homes, a uh, little larger lots, um, a lot of four or five bedroom, uh, quite a few uh, two-story homes in here. Um, pretty much all brick um, and the price point's a little higher because the homes are a little newer. Um, I'd say that uh, a large majority of them are uh, from the uh, 90s, uh, so uh, where the previous neighborhood was in the 70s and 80s. Um, so there are some properties in this neighborhood that do have views because the neighborhood itself is kind of hilly. Mm, uh, yeah. So depending on the house, you may get a pretty terrific view out the back. Um, the exterior streets for the community do have uh, forest around them still, so some good uh, green belt uh, with a lot of these homes uh, that are on the exterior of the uh, community itself. We are still close to many of the amenities uh, that we mentioned uh, about the other neighborhood over um, off of uh, off of 49. This is off of Don Tyson Parkway. Uh, as Brent said, we're going a little more east. Um, we're getting more towards uh, the amenities of Springdale proper and also some of the amenities of uh, Fayetteville. As far as schools for this neighborhood, there are there's one right down the road. There's uh, another one a little bit further. There's the um, there's actually a private school right down the road as well, Shiloh Christian. Uh, there's lots of resources for parks and sports complexes for after school park uh, activities. Um, as far as you know, traffic in this neighborhood, we're just we're not seeing a whole lot of traffic. We're you know, there are, there's a good amount of cars on the park. Yeah, on the, on it's, it's Saturday afternoon. Yeah, so. there's a good amount of park cars parked in the street, but um, you know, people have people over, and but safety just feels like a safe neighborhood. It uh, these are well kept, pride of ownership homes in this neighborhood, and that's what you're going to get in this part of Springdale um, as we head further east and get closer to downtown. All right, we are a little bit further east again. We are in the Renaissance neighborhood. We are on the east side of 71, which is the main north and south drag uh, parallel to uh, I-49. And it is a beautiful little neighborhood, this Renaissance neighborhood. These houses are gonna be four or five bedroom homes, 2,500 to 3,000 square feet, maybe a little bit bigger. Uh, some of them have three car garages, some of them just two. Uh, really beautiful trees throughout the whole neighborhood. Very well kept, very nice community. Yeah, so beautiful um, green spaces, beautiful front yards. Um, there's a lot of pride of ownership here and they take care of their homes. And then the neighborhood as a whole is a newer neighborhood. Um, what do you think the ages of the homes are here? Less than eight years old. Yeah, uh, when so I was fairly new. Yeah, so these these are built in 2015 and beyond, um, and, and newer. And it's right next to. I mean, we're probably what three football fields, maybe maybe a quarter mile from uh, Fayetteville Lake Park right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, beautiful place that you can go bike around, uh, mountain bike trails, or just walk a paved trail all the way around. There's some food trucks right there, so uh, always grab a snack. And um, right by the Fayetteville Lake Park, and then there's, uh, again, we've got School of Innovation High School, we've got multiple middle schools, multiple elementaries, very close proximity right here. Uh, just a beautiful space. You're tucked away in, this is a neighborhood inside of an older neighborhood. 
Uh, all the houses around it are built in the 90s and 80s. And then you got this neighborhood that's built in 2015 and newer. And so it's just a beautiful space. Uh, we are headed off to the next one. So as we're driving through Springdale here, make sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, uh, hit all the buttons that you do on YouTube. And if you have any questions about these neighborhoods, please reach out to us days, nights, weekends, whatever. We got your back. We actually love talking to people about moving to Arkansas, uh, pointing them in the right direction and getting you connected with the, the right area that's going to give you the best lifestyle that matches your needs and your desires. And so reach out to us call, text, email, whatever you got. We'd love to connect with you. All right, we just rolled through the Grand Valley neighborhood. Uh, beautiful little place. I love the, the variety of colors in that neighborhood. And as we're walking in the park right next door right now, uh, tell me a little bit about the houses in Grand Valley. I mean, they're gonna be three bedroom, two baths mostly, but uh, what are they built in sizes and such? You know, they're, it's a pretty new neighborhood. Uh, they're. They're all built within the last, uh, what, five, six years? Yeah. And, uh, you know, when Brent says at the, at the park across the street, we're literally, if we walk 100 yards, we're back in the neighborhood. Um, this park has all the amenities, but the, the neighborhood itself, um, uh, pretty nice area, very well kept, as you can see. Um, the, uh, as far as the, the colors that he mentioned so a lot of the a lot of the neighborhood you'll see uh the the they're they're siding the homes have siding um like uh probably concrete siding uh for the most part um painted different colors very well kept neighborhood uh very clean not many cars on the street uh and you know after seven or eight years there's some mature trees in there but uh, one of the best kept neighborhoods in the area, in my opinion. This uh, is just a quiet side of Springdale, honestly. There's mm -hmm. not a whole lot of traffic on this end. There's schools and there's neighborhoods and there's a grocery store just north of here that's gonna be really convenient. There's parks and that's it. Uh, so there's not a whole lot of traffic. The safety feature is really nice. Um, I mean, I'm just gonna do a spin right here. We've got a ballpark behind me. We've got a splash pad and picnic tables right over there and we've got a bunch of soccer fields um, it is it is a beautiful park right here and this is what you're going to find a lot in west uh, sorry east springdale yeah it's just you're heading out towards the country you're heading out towards more spacious lots uh, this is kind of right now this is the edge of springdale <laughs> and uh, you go a little bit further there might be building some more neighborhoods soon um, but at all, this point, not so much. At this point, Grand Valley is the end of the road, uh, but a little bit north of here is, you know, you've got George Elementary, you've got School of Innovation for the high school, um, you've got a junior high as well, you've got a few um, middle schools, I mean just a plethora of schools over here. You've got a Walmart and a Harps, literally what, three minutes away? Ish, yeah. And so it's a great... Now, now there is, you know, kind of like more central Springdale where we were earlier, uh, you won't have as many restaurants here close by. Mm. There's not anything to do close by. Central Springdale, uh, restaurants, movie house, yeah. uh, entertainment things. Uh, here, like Brent said, we're just kind of out on the edge of Springdale going east and uh, it's a little quieter. Uh, so you will have to drive like uh, seven to 10 minutes to get to more amenities. Um, but it's still close. All right, that's enough about this one. We're on our way to our last one. All right, we are on the northeast side of Springdale, rolling through the Woodcliffe neighborhood. We are up on one of the only hills in Springdale, <laughs> um, and it's it's got some great views. My camera just doesn't do it justice. Looking out over Springdale, looking uh, westward, and these are beautiful homes from the looks of them. They are going to be in the 70s and 80s and probably early 90s when they're built. Some um, very large homes on very large lots, maybe even an acre or so. Yeah, and the proximity to things around here, uh, there's a whole bunch of neighborhoods close by, but then it's you've got the Rodeo of the Ozarks, you've got downtown Springdale, Emma Street, uh, some great eats right down there, great bike trails. Oh my gosh, the bike oh. trails around here. Uh, Bayari um, Mountain Bike Trails is one of the best in Springdale. And it is absolutely 
Uh, we're going through, the trees are covering the road right now. That's why it's so dark in here, but it's absolutely gorgeous. And the, the mountain bike trails around here, then you've got the green, um, Razorback Greenway that goes north and south. Uh, that's not too far away. Um, and then the for grocery stores, you've got uh, Walmart and Harps real close by. You are probably probably 10 minutes, 12 minutes from the highway all the way over here on the east side of Springdale. Um, but you have a plethora of different restaurants. And if you wanted to head north on uh, uh, Old Missouri and Old Wire Road, you can get to Rogers pretty quickly that way as well. And so you've got some great options for accessibility, convenience, groceries, restaurants, and some really fun activities. You know, the Rodeo of Ozarks, obviously they have a rodeo there, but they also have uh, destruction demo derbies there. Those are really fun. Uh, they just go smash up cars. Uh, very, um, it's a really good time just to watch them, bring some earplugs, <laughs> eat some carny food, and uh, yeah. Well, there you go. We've taken you across southeast Springdale, and Springdale is actually very massive. I mean, from north to south and east to west. It's as far as land mass goes, it's one of the largest areas in northwest Arkansas. Yeah. So we'll we'll hit some other uh, areas in the future, but uh, this is a a good sampling of uh, of Springdale in northwest Arkansas. Some great communities, both young and old communities. And uh, just remember, if you need anything real estate related, uh, give us a call. We're your Living in Arkansas team.